Hey guys, it's me Rona back again with another video and in this video guys I'm gonna show you how you can install a WordPress website on Microsoft Azure just like we install a WordPress website on Google Cloud as well as on AWS. So I'll start by creating a Microsoft account and then I'll show you guys how you can install a WordPress website on that Microsoft account. Uh, finally, I'll show you guys how you can point your existing domain if you have one uh, to Microsoft account so that you can access your WordPress website using your domain name so guys before I move into this video I just want to let you know that you may require a few things in order to create a Microsoft account like you need a identity document I'm from India if you live in the same country you have to provide your pan ID if you live in another country I don't know what is the identity document from those countries and next thing you have to provide a credit card or debit card information in order to uh, verify your payment information they will charge only two indian rupees which is almost free so guys that's the thing you need to obtain before creating an account so enough talking and let's get started and let me show you guys how you can install a wordpress website on microsoft azure so let's get started all right guys let's get started and let's create a wordpress website on microsoft azure first of all go to google and perform a google search for microsoft azure and here you have to open this website azure.microsoft.com so guys this is the microsoft azure website here you have to click on a start free button over here or you can click over here free account in the next page you can see they provide 12 month free popular services 3300 credit after that more than 25 services always free so guys in the same page on the top you can click on start free button so guys in the next page you have to sign in or sign up if you don't have account click over here to create one otherwise you can sign in using your existing microsoft account so guys i already have microsoft account so i'm going to log in into my microsoft account quickly so guys in this page you have to provide the information about yourself like what is your country your first name last name and your email address as well as you have to provide your phone number and your organization over here and next is the pan id pan id is identity document i'm from india so i have to provide the pan id over here then click on next in identity verification by phone you have to type your number or you can click on text me or you can click on call me i'm going to click on text me i will receive a verification code now I got the code on my number. Now I'm going to fill that code and then I'm going to click on verify code. So guys in this page you have to add your billing information. You can add your credit card or debit card information, your address. Once you've done that, click on next. This is just for verification purposes. This is a part of verification process where you won't be charged automatically unless you upgrade your plan manually. So guys as you can see I have to pay only 2 Indian rupees and I've got the code on my number so i'm gonna pay that to indian rupees i'm gonna fill that code over here i'm gonna click on submit and here you have to click on next so now check this box in order to agree with the subscription agreement then click on sign up so guys now you have successfully created your microsoft azure account you can skip the tool by clicking on maybe later so guys finally we are inside microsoft azure dashboard now it's time to install a wordpress now click on this plus icon create a resource button now come over here in the search bar and search for wordpress from the search result select wordpress certified by bitnami click on that now from bottom of the right side click on this create button now in the instant details section give a name to your virtual machine you can name whatever you like make sure do not add any space and now click on this password button and create your username and password in the same page we have to create a resource group now click on create new and you can name it whatever you like then click ok and now click on next now here you have to choose your hard drive i'm gonna choose a standard hdd and then click on next now keep moving clicking on next button until you reach the review plus create tab. The final button will be the review plus create. 
so here you have to enter your phone number scroll down and click on create button now you can see your deployment is underway so it takes some time so i'll speed this video up i'll come back once it finish a few moments later so guys deployment has been completed successfully now you can see it took 6 minutes and 42 seconds to install the wordpress now click on go to resource button so here you guys you have to copy this ip address by clicking this copy to clipboard and open up a new tab and run this ip address in this url section and you can see this is a wordpress website looks like by default now let's just go to the dashboard in the url section type your ip address slash wp dash admin and username section you have to type user in the password field you have to type your password so where you can find your password let's go to the dashboard of microsoft azure and scroll down in this section in the left side of this uh, window and click on boot diagnostics and click on serial log and here guys you have to select any of the text and then click on Control F and here you have to type a password and now you need to click on this uh, next search button and where you can see this uh, your Bitnami application password this is your password selected copy it paste it over here and click on login there you go guys pretty simple pretty easy to install WordPress in Microsoft Azure so guys now we have successfully installed wordpress and now we are inside the dashboard of wordpress all right now we are moving to the final part of this video where i'll show you guys how you can point your existing domain with this wordpress website so that you can use your domain name to access this wordpress website you know no one wants their website open with ip address so do you i believe if you point your domain name with this WordPress website, it would be a good practice so that your website can be found on web easily and it would be SEO friendly as well. So I'm going to show you guys how you can point your existing domain or your domain name with this WordPress website so that you can access the WordPress website using your domain name instead of IP address. All right, let's point our existing domain. Let's head over to Microsoft Azure dashboard and click on your virtual machine. And now here you have to copy this IP address by clicking this copy to clipboard button and click on that and copy the IP address. And now go to create a resource button and in the search field, search for DNS zone, select DNS zone from search result. And here you have to click on create button. Now here in the name field, type your domain name next. In the resource group select your previous resource group that we created earlier now click on create so guys dns zone is under process it may take up to few minutes now click on this pin to dashboard button and you can pin your dns zone on your dashboard click that to open it this is your dns zone here we have to create a few record set click on this plus icon record set and name field would be blank and ttl would be 300 and ttl unit select two seconds and here you have to paste your IP address and then click OK. Alright, now we have to create another record set. Click on this plus icon record set and select your record type to CNAME. And in the name field, type www. And uh, in the TTL, select uh, and type 300. And the TTL unit would be seconds. Again, in alias, uh, type your domain name and click OK. Alright guys, now we have successfully created a DNS zone in Microsoft Azure. Finally, we need to copy name server of Microsoft Azure and we need to paste that name server. These are the four name server of Microsoft Azure. Now we need to copy these name server one by one by clicking this copy to clipboard. Copy that name server. Let's head over to your domain provider. My case, I have domain from GoDaddy. This is my domain. Now I'm gonna click on DNS. This process work with any domain provider. Just change your name server. Now scroll down and here you can see name server. Click on that to change button and select default to custom and scroll down here paste your name server and delete the dot from the end. And now let's go back to Microsoft Azure. Copy the next one and let's go back to GoDaddy and paste over here. Now let's click on this add name server button and add two more uh, field where we can paste the next one. Let's copy it 
and paste over here and delete the dot and then copy the next one and let's go back here and paste and delete the dot finally click on save and now let's just try to open our website with our domain name so guys our domain is not working right now it may take up to 24 hours to point our domain with microsoft azure most of the time it works instantly but sometime it takes time you should keep checking after 10 minutes 20 minutes one hour later within a 24 hour I would say so guys this is how we can point our existing domain your domain will definitely work if still not work feel free to ask me anything in the comment section below i'll definitely answer your question as quickly as possible so that's the end of this video guys i hope you enjoy if you like this video please hit the like button if you're new here consider subscribing so that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys next time